Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. In this episode I'm going to show you all the essential tools that I use to metal detect the beach. We're going to be selecting the winner of last week's Would You Dig It and at the end of this video I have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway. So guys, let's get started. I just got back from the beach and this is how I pack my car. This is the back end of my beach cruiser. Actually, this Kia Soul is 100% dedicated to my metal detecting the beach. So when I say it's my beach cruiser, this really is my beach cruiser. That is my commuter car that I go to and from. And if you can see this little tiny sticker right there, that allows me into the carpool lane. Okay guys, I just got back from metal detecting the beach and it's time to unload my car. But guys, I just wanted to show you all the stuff I keep in my car. Very first thing I need to remove is this CKG titanium scoop. And guys, yes, what I do is I save my Ralph's shopping bags, all right? Which is the same as Kroger, if you guys uh, know Kroger grocery stores. But guys, check this out. That's a titanium CKG beach scoop. It is a prototype. It is uh, got some work to do on the uh, the stage that it's currently in right now, but I am advising CKG on exactly what they need to do to perfect it. And guys, I think we are going to have a very affordable titanium scoop that is ultra lightweight. Guys, this is so light. I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It is like feather light. Okay, guys, enough of that. Enough fanboying this. I always save bags for my scoops, guys. So I'm going to shove this right in here. Oh, I'll probably end up showing you everything that's in here. Um, we'll start with that, guys, because what did I do? Notice it's charging. All right. My earphones are completely charged on my drive home. All right, and how do they charge? Well, that's because I use a charging pack, right? It is nothing but a charging station and it works wonderful. Look, see, it's charging my Equinox now. But guys, I'm gonna clean out my car right now. So that's two fines bags, one fines bag and another guys. This thing is so heavy, you have no idea how heavy this thing is. Check this out. Oh, you want to check something out? Check out some videos that you're going to see later, okay? All right. Did I get it? I got it. Look at that. That is a gold ring, guys. That thing is so old and pitted. Been in the ocean for a long time. And I got another one in here, too. Let's move this over. All right. Let's see. What do I have? I'm just going to see if I can grab it. Sorry, guys. Check it out. That's an 18K gold ring, too. Been smashed up by the rocks. Oh, there's another ring in there. You guys will see the videos here pretty soon, all right? So let me just drop my fines bag right there, guys. This helmet and, and uh, vest have nothing to do with my metal detecting. It's just when I go on to a job site for my career, guys, I need to have my safety glasses, my safety vest, and my hard hat. All right, so once again, my beach scoop is in a bag, and that is to protect the sand from getting all over my car. Notice my car is dirty, but there's not big piles of sand, and that's because it's in, well, I clean this one off, but it'd normally be in here. All right, so I'm saving that bag, right? So guys, a lot of people ask me, why do I have these uh, uh, pool noodle thingies on my... Well, first of all, it's to protect my hands, because look at that. I don't want to hit my hands against that, guys. So I'm going to hit my hand against that, right? Because you know how hard I flip. And this tank scoop is so beefy. It's got to be the best scoop on the market. It really is. It's my favorite. And I'm not supposed to tell you this, guys, but CKG just got an order in. And if you use the FWJ promo code, you'll get 10% off and free shipping. Okay. So just remember, they don't want me to tell you that the CKG is back in stock. Or the CKG tank scoop is back in stock. 
And if you use that FWJ promo code, you get 10% off. Just a reminder, I gotta really clean this up, but you see why I use the pool noodles? I really don't want my foot hitting that, or my hand hitting that, or any part of my body hitting that. That's why I do it this way. I honestly, the reason I do it this way is because this is the best scoop I've ever owned. Honestly, it is so tough in the rocks. It is so tough, you guys have no idea. And I put that carbon fiber one piece shaft on here with a Modus T grip. Notice Modus T grip. Now guys, this is not for a handle, all right, to, to think you're gonna twist it like this and shake it out, no. I use this because it's just cheap injected molded plastic, right? to hold the scoop as I drag it behind me. So it literally is dangling behind me as I walk. That's the only reason I use this and I love them. This is a lifesaver, all right? And you guys can tell I use multiple beach scoops as a cube. Uh, this one here is a T-Rex. All right, so notice my, my Nox is still charging, right? So here's my headlamps. They gotta come in, they need charging. Uh, both of them need charging right now because um, I don't know which one I actually used. I, you know what? This one's fully charged. I can just leave it here. So I do know which one I used because this one's missing the light bulb and this one isn't. So I used it the last time I go out. I'm gonna set this down. We're gonna charge that up later. All right. So I just unplugged my earphones. All right, they're completely charged. And I'm gonna unplug the Nox. And I'm gonna take my Nox out. And yes, I use plastic bags with my 15 inch coil. All right, I'm gonna have to clean, uh, clean up those uh, ear rubber grommets. Okay, let me set this on down. All right, my little charging pack. That's what I use to charge the whole thing. All right, now I'm gonna make sure it is shut off. I'm gonna wrap it up and I'm gonna put it in my backpack because I always take the backpack inside the house. Let's go ahead and use uh, move my backup beach scoop. This is a must have, must have in every car. For me it is anyways because you never know when you need, well, we all need to wash our hands. We all got to clean up after ourselves, guys. So um, I keep one of these in my car regularly. All right. As for my backpack, let's go through my backpack. Ooh, my backpack. All right. So I always shove this stuff right back in the baggie that it belongs in. All right. And notice... Eh, I won't even bother zipping it up and making it neat. I keep an extra coil ear protector. I keep extra zip ties. You never know when you're going to break something. You need to be uh, able to repair it. This is a baggie with a spare baggie. I like to put my cell phone in. And paper towels to keep things dry. That's, that's all this is, right? This next pocket is where I usually keep my GoPro stuff. All right, so yeah, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in there and I'm gonna add this GoPro that I would for my B-roll and whatever, which I always forget to do anyways. You guys know, I know, not a very good editor, but I'm learning, I'm learning, right? So let's zip this bag up. What else we got in here? I know I drank all the beer already. You know, actually it was Irene. Irene drank all my beer. I had beer in here. There's plenty of beer in here. And then, you know, next thing you know, Irene drank it all. Shame on you, Irene. Shame on you. I always keep, this is completely empty right now. Um, but whatever I put in there, I'll put my snacks, my lunch, what have you, uh, when I'm carrying this out on the beach, okay? And I always include a lightweight jacket that's, you know, you can get rained upon if need be. So that is pretty much my backpack, which uh, because of the electronics are usually in there, I take it inside the house. So we're gonna take that out. Notice behind this bag that's strapped to it is a 11 inch coil. My 11 inch coil is hooked to 
um, another lower shaft. See the lower shaft is already hooked up. So whenever I want to hook up the 11 inch coil, it's super easy if you already have it connected to the shaft, all right? And notice over here, hanging is my six inch coil. I rarely use it, but there are times that I need it. Okay guys, and then right here, I have knee pads that I keep with me. Now notice, those things are clean, all right? I don't use these very often, but there's times that I have used them, but um, they were done on grass and I, they were easily wiped off. Okay, what else do we have shoved in here? Okay, there's the wipes, there's another fines bag. Inside this fines bag are bags, bags, bags. Fines bags, when I go and I actually get wet, I use that one. This bag, when I know I'm going to the trestles and I'm gonna be digging lots of trash because that one just sifts right through, okay? And these are my favorite bags. They're just, you know, I have so many of these freaking bags, guys. That's one thing you can never have too much of as a metal detector is his finds bags. All right, let me move this scoop out of the way. By the way, that is my backup. I call that my dry sand scoop, but I can dig in the wet sand. I just have to be extra gentle. So guys, what this is right here, these are um, to protect my shins from snake bites. That's exactly what these are. And that's why I don't need the knee pads as often because I'll tell you what, the, this acts as a knee pad pretty much. All right. So I use these when I head out to the desert areas. I just strap them on. I usually use like a steel toed uh, boot when I'm out there. Okay guys, let's see what else we got back in here. I have the CKG upper part of the travel shaft to my backup beach scoop. And if you look at here is the white shovel. I love this thing, man. This thing is awesome. If you ever need a digging tool, this is the best digging tool. And I'll tell you what I did is when I heard Whites was going out of business, I bought a couple of them. But you can still find them online. I think uh, it's gotta be one of the best things uh, uh, for digging uh, perfect plugs that I've ever had. All right, it's a great tool. All right, let's move over to headphones, right? I got my wireless headphones when I need to take in and charge. I keep my uh, waterproof ones in the car at all times because I never know. I'm only going to need them when I'm out in the car, right? All right. And before I get into this, these are all my beach shoes, right? So they are stinky, nasty, full of sand, and they need to be washed. We're going to set those aside. That's how I get most of the sand in the cars from my beach shoes. And, and that's, they, that's what makes it stink in the car too, right? All right, guys. So in here, well, first of all, you see these uh, white uh, pieces of PVC? Uh, metal detecting WA at metal detecting Washington his name's Rick he made these for me and they are fantastic they are absolutely fantastic what I do is I just strap them on all right and I use it in the back seat now if I want to take it out in the field I can use these as belt loops all right so they're fantastic I love them all right in here is a watering bowl for my dog Haley you know you gotta always keep her watered even though she doesn't like the metal detect with me she's awfully demanding but i keep it in the car these are kevlar gloves right they're cut resistant gloves these are also cut resistant gloves that i've never even used i keep them in the bag because you never know when you need them this is a plastic scoop yeah so when i'm out in the desert whatever i scrape up or like coins nuggets what have you you know, you guys see Nugget Shooter Journals, you'll know how to use one of those. Okay, also in here is the Towel of Respect. 
The Tallery Spec goes a long way when you're pulling a plug out. It also helps you clean up after yourself, clean up your hands, clean up your stuff. But I always keep what I call the Tallery Spec because if I am going to dig a plug on a park, you need to have one of these in Southern California because that's what it is, Towel of Respect. People see you use one of these, they know you're respecting the ground and you're a respectful person and you can get away with a lot more. When you're not using one of these and you're leaving holes in the ground and the place looks like garbage, you're ruining it for us all. We won't be detecting those parts. Also in here, these are binoculars, all right? So I very rarely use them, but when I'm out in the desert, I'll use them, especially if I hear gunshots in the distance. It uh, looks like I got a couple of pool tabs, another debris in the bottom. Here's just another digging tool, all right? So yeah, guys, I do dig in parks, you can tell, all right? Um, here's also a tool that I use. It's a crevice tool because I do hunt for gold out in the desert and, and scraping out um, uh, crevices is important, except for I think the last time I was using this, I was targeting roots, okay? because I was finding uh, underneath some silver tree, or silver underneath some tree roots, okay? And then I always keep one of these in here because some of my uh, equipment requires just a little tightening. I think my beach scoop does, right? So my uh, tank scoop, I need that for. Uh, we already went through this, already went through that. Oh, key to gym success is a back brace. <laughs> So it doesn't necessarily work for me all the time, but I will tell you when I need it the most, it is right there. So guys, the one thing you guys didn't see is the first aid kit that I keep in my glove compartment and a few first aid items that I keep in my backpack. And occasionally in some of my finds bags, I'll throw some band-aids and ointments and what have you in there, just depending on where I'm going, how far away from the car I'm gonna be, those things, I, and if I can remember to do it, right? Sometimes that's the biggest enemy is me remembering to carry some of that stuff. Now, keep in mind, my car is packed full of a lot of stuff, right? But I am a detectorist and I detect a lot, so it's just the way it is. Normally, I always keep at least two beach scoops, and if I'm traveling more than, say, 60 to 70 miles away, I'm carrying a second detector, okay? And the second detector I normally would take would be my Sovereign, just in case anything ever happened to the Knox and I'd still want to detect, because I drove considerable miles away, right? I'd want to be able to pull out another detector and just start detecting for a few hours at least, right? And that's the one thing that the Sovereign will do, is it'll give me at least another four or five hours to detect. Okay, so guys, let's select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? So guys, I got one for you right here. I am in Beach 1, all metal mode, and let's check this one out. Would you dig it? Let me go 90 degrees. If you would dig it, comment below of what you think it is and you'll have an opportunity to win a $100 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. One more time here. And guys, I promise, this is a little bit easier than the last one, guys. So let's dig this one up. Right there. There it is. You know what that is, guys? That is a silver war nickel. And yes, that was lightning and thunder. And yes, it's about ready to rain in Southern California. And that's why I'm filming right now. So guys, I just finished the Would You Dig It? And it literally just started dumping. So cool. I love the rain in Southern California. We could really use it. So guys, nobody selected Warnickel. 
I was trying to be a little bit easier on that because uh, last time uh, somebody was guessing War Nickel a few times on uh, sounds just like that. So I figured you guys would definitely get it. But guess what? The skin carries over. So next tutorial Tuesday, the Would You Dig It is for a $125 Amazon gift card. And that's the largest on Fun With Jim so far, guys. This is awesome. So let's check this one out for a $125 Amazon gift card. Would you dig it? Okay, guys, I got one for you. I'm in my test garden right here. I am in park one. Okay, and I got a target right here, guys. Let's check this one out. Would you dig it? All right, let's go 90 degrees. Would you dig it? If you would dig it, comment below at what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $125 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. So guys, one more time this direction. Go back 90 degrees. Okay. Would you dig it? I dug it. Would you dig it? And if you would dig it, comment below and you'll have a chance to win a $125 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. So guys, if you like my videos, please click like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing, ringing this bell and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video. And please take a look at either one of these videos.